Hello! So I'm doing a different kind of video today. Just for the fun of it. I got the clips working so I can talk over pictures of... What did I just say? <laughs> I can record over pictures. Space Travel Company, the paper, which we made available and prominent. So this was Electric Spacecraft Journal to NASA. Breakthrough Physics Propulsion Workshop. That was a while ago. Okay, let's go to the next picture, okay? This is kind of interesting. January 27, 1965. Same day, 30 years ago. The experiment repeated several times. This is a... Actually, I have the full report somewhere. It's a um, weather balloon that went up in the South Pole with um, instruments on it and they had a time distortion or maybe it was simply the clock was affected by a uh, geomagnetic field I don't know but you can read that famous Russian scientist Nikolai Koshrev I guess I got that I could have the full email it was an email I got it printed out um, in around 2004 Interesting stuff, though. This is time dilation stuff. This is intriguing. I am not sure what this is from. Boeing's physicist Gordon Allen, unfortunately, could not come for his presentation, I think. Indeed, physicist Mel Winfield demonstrated some interesting experiments in which different materials, such as metal, pipes, pieces of plastic, iron and wood, wood were picked off the floor levitated to approximately 50 in height and then fell back to ground in a lateral arc. The transformation of the gravitational forces and object mentioned was produced by a frequency induction from outside. It is worth noting that the coil system electric drill that was beginning to float in the manor burst into flames apparently strong energy I don't know this happened in the really early 80s for Pete's sake oh well okay well uh, this is in all in Japanese this is one of the energy converters I made for the Japanese as you tell it's pretty big and was about I don't know, 40 pounds I think same one Richard Brewer and I made and took it to the Canadian government. He suggested I take it to the military, but Richard had to return to the United Kingdom. Now this is, I believe, a coin that was embedded in aluminium, but with an unusual hole through it. And a dark area going off I don't, I recall this vaguely. It's actually, and it, it's what? I think because it's reversed, it's actually was sitting on a block of aluminum and it left this impression, I think. I forget, I don't know. Uh, this, I know, is a chunk of stainless steel that uh, turned jelly and kind of had then left this impression in it. I forget who or I wonder who I sold this off to. It's got magnetic properties as well. Sold it to somebody. I don't have that anymore. Uh, this was interesting to Roland Brito because it was accelerated and time was aging and rusting and falling apart and it was magnetic at one end very strongly. I think it made it to the Max Planck Institute. I think maybe Roland took this photo of it. Okay. This is off of HMCS Columbia. I used it in my experimental setup in the apartment. It's a receiver and transmitter system. Very old. But early 50s. Ah, uh, this is uh, some of the gear I had from... Um, not Columbia, but Saskatchewan or Yukon. 
that is actually a transceiver system, countermeasures, electronic countermeasure system. Plus on the other side is a vintage British style transceiver system. And to the right is a ANFRR 59. Oh, this is what Roland Brito took back to Germany, took as a Max Planck Institute, who filmed it and analyzed it and tested it. It made Esquire magazine. Uh, this is 2004, December 5, to whom it may concern, writing to uh, John Hutchison, blah, 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 with respect to my time and discoveries. This is from Dr. Robert Kuhns, experimental nuclear physicist, former staff scientist at the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory. I still have this original letter somewhere. The Baser Project from Dr. Yale was 1994 in Los Angeles. The boson coherent type device. I don't know if it's in existence or not, but Dr. Sho S H O U, sorry, I in low. Okay, this is what was that three inch? Or two, either three inch or two and a half inch. Uh, stainless steel bar that was kind of turned into a jelly wiggling stuff. Might be on video. And it fell apart like this into a mess. This picture was taken by a TV crew for a. TLC show, I think on the Bermuda Triangle. I don't know where these are now, but uh, maybe Paul Mueller, I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. These are big samples, by the way. That turned to jelly and disrupted way back in 19... I remember it because it's kind of disturbing looking at it. Uh, what was it, 89, 1989? That's a long time ago. In the big old black and white videos of that lab. I was under dispute with uh, other partners. BC Supreme Court um, argued in my favor. Long story, I think these are sold to Enrico somewhere. Okay, this is a Star Trek pop, prop I have still. Remember Data carrying around a box with this on it? Oh, this is off HMCS Yukon. It's a navigational device. Kind of cool unit, works fine. Oh, well, I guess it's gone, so 